Welcome to Accents. In this tutorial video, you will learn how to easily install the Accents communication unit in your local facility. Prior to the installation, the Accents system can be easily installed through one of the following internet options LAN or cellular installation. Please note that an optimal installation location will perfect communication between the Accent high tags and the communication units. For LAN installations, please confirm the presence of a LAN landline internet connection in the defined monitored area, such as the docking area, cold rooms, packing area, and others as required. Verify with the IT department that all the internet ports are open on your local network and prevent any firewall interference. Should you elect to connect through a cellular system, please make sure that there is a good cellular signal at the site and advise your preferred cellular provider details. Your facility floor plan should be provided to the Accents technical support team in order to achieve optimal signal facility coverage. Installing the communication unit. Verify that the CU is installed in a safe location out of harm's way. Also verify that a quality cellular reception or LAN Ethernet socket is available as well as a nearby electricity socket. For better performance and optimal monitoring, place the RF antenna vertically as high as possible and away from the cellular antenna. In both cellular and LAN installations, connect the RF antenna to the RF connector. LAN installations require connecting one end of the LAN cable to the Ethernet socket. With cellular installations, connect the GSM antenna to the GSM connector. Connect the power supply to the available electricity outlet and connect the silver connector to the unit's power socket. In LAN installations, turn the toggle switch on the operation panel to the BAT ON position. After approximately 2 minutes, the orange SRV LED will be turned on, indicating that the CU2 LAN is connected to the Internet. In case the error light blinks or the SRV light isn't turned on within 5 minutes, please contact the Accent support team at support at bt9-tech.com. Testing the Accent's RF coverage. Start by turning on the Accent's high tag by pressing and holding the activation button. To ensure radio coverage throughout the entire receiving bay, walk across the docking area with a single active sensor while the Accent's high tag antenna wire is stretched out. Optimal RF signal is achieved when the light on the Accent's high tag blinks once every 15 seconds in all required zones. Lack of a signal or searching mode will be displayed <laughs> as the light blinks twice every 5 seconds. You can move the communication unit to assure better RF coverage. At the end of the coverage test, attach the Accent's high tag in the required monitored area. Stretch the antenna wire downward and peel the barcode sticker from the barcode tag for the following association process. For future reference and support, please take photographs of the CU installation and send the images to the Accent support team to support at bt9-tech.com Accent's high tag association Use the serial number barcode sticker from the installed sensor ID label. Record the exact location of each tag within the facility. Finally, associate the Accent's high tags directly into your personal account on the Accent's website. In order to learn how to easily use Accents for single or multiple segments of the cold supply chain, see additional tutorial videos in this series. For more information, contact us at support at bt9-tech.com.